I'd love for you to do a breakdown of price bands over the last six years and how that relates to both inventory and sales volume. If that topic interest you. I'm going to do close to this. I'm going to do the last four years in Davidson and Williamson, and I'm going to do inventory and price. I think you'll find it interesting. And I hope the conclusion you come to is just how hyper-local this market is. We're going to talk about why though, because what you'll see when I show you this should help you see that. But before we get there, let's take a look at some Nashville housing stats, starting with greater Nashville realtors and what they posted for the month of August. Median sales price, 505 in August, which has been high. It's about 4% higher than it was last year. I post this. This is Greater Nashville Realtors, 2434, a little bit lower on the transaction volume than the year before. July and uh, June and July both came in higher on transaction volumes. We may end the year in 2025 with more closings than 2024. It's yet to be determined, too close to call. But August, we went down just a little bit. September and October, both I think are going to be positive. I'll show you why in just a second. But for now, median price is up 4%. Let's take a look at the daily charts. Now, I take daily charts. You can go to my website if you want, NashvilleRealEstateData.com. You create it, you create an account free, the daily market charts here. I update these six days a week, Monday through Saturday. And you can see active listings popping here in 9222. It popped not quite as much as last year, but... Enough to make me think we might be able to get higher than we got in July. Kind of exciting. We'll see if it happens. Still too early to tell, but if we get another week or two like this, we could break through to a new active listing high. But notice only 23.6% higher than last year. This number was at 33%, I think, at the peak. So we've been compressing in terms of where we would go. I thought we could break 10,000 this year, and we're not even close to that now. Um, had we been 30% higher, we would be breaking 10,000. So a little bit disappointed there, but let's look at contract volume. One of the drivers, more is going under contract this year versus last year. Now, one thing that's been a big topic of conversation is mortgage rates. We go to mortgage rates. We can see we're at 625 year-to-date low, but we're actually higher than we were last year at this time. Believe it or not, we're higher than we were last year at this time. And one other thing to note, the Fed meeting is this week, and the Fed meeting was literally the low in mortgage rates. So the Fed dropped a half a point in September of 2024, and since then, mortgage rates have gone nothing but up. Something to pay attention to is whether or not that will happen again. I do not know. I do not know, but I think it could go either way. And I could sit here and explain why I'm not going to, but just know that mortgage rates could bounce from here or they could continue down. I don't know which way they're going to go. Now, let's talk price bands. By the way, this is Greater Nashville Real. This is what Greater Nashville Realtors covers. These are the nine counties here. But what I'm going to do, because I have the data for it, is Davidson and Williamson County, going back to 2022, we're going to look at price bands in Davidson and Williamson for single family homes. And you're going to be shocked, I think. I was shocked. Okay, so active listings. Let's just look at active listings here. We have 1,138 today. We have 1,138. In February of 2022, we had 219 for zero to 500,000 price band. We have five times the inventory we had in 2022. Pretty wild. Let's keep going. 500 to a million, 1763. We're at 1763. We go back to February of 22. We had 181. Y'all, that's almost 10 times the inventory we have today as we had in 2022. Let's keep going. Million to two and a half million. We have 1,048. We had 114 in 2022, almost 10 times the inventory. That is wild. Now, now keep in mind, this is Davidson and Williamson because I'm about to show you price. And why that's important is because what we see in price is pretty interesting. For the zero to 500, remember it's only five times higher in active listings. For the zero to 500, prices are actually lower than they were, where they were in 2022 by price per foot by almost 5%, 4 or 5%. Okay, 248 to 239. Here it is. 248 to 239. So 2022 prices are lower on the low end. You can tell mortgage rates have really pushed prices down on the lower end. Let's take a look at 500 to a million. They're higher, 284, 
to 261. So they're about 5% higher on the, uh, if you go just on the other side of median. And then when we go higher, the 1 million to 2.5 million, you can see they're basically flat. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting to see this. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind is Davidson County gets the vast majority of these sales. What we're seeing, I think, is more of a Davidson versus Williamson in the data when we take price bands. And so if we look at Williamson County, what we can see is the median price per foot has actually been up for the third year in a row. Now, I don't have 2022 with this pool, but it's up 312 to 295. It's up pretty significantly. Whereas if we look at Davidson County, Davidson County is now below 2023 levels at 266, whereas we were at 273. So Davidson County median price per foot is below where it was in 23. Williamson County is higher where it was pretty significantly, even in 2024. Why does this matter? Well, it, it's, it goes back to what I said. Everything is hyper local. And so price bands are extremely important because they explain some of the sensitivity we're seeing to mortgage rates, but location, quality, and type are the things that matter most. And so what we can see here, I did a condo. I just posted this on Twitter this morning, but Worth and Lofts, you can see we had a massive increase starting to sell. You know, you can see these things went from 250 to 350 before 2021. Then they went up to 600,000. Now, They've dropped massively, now well under 400,000. Uh, by the way, these are the smaller ones in Worthen Lofts, under 1,000 square feet. We offered $100,000 less on a condo that was high force. We got a pretty sharp disagreement about price, but I look at this chart and I'm like, yeah, prices have dropped pretty significantly here, pretty significantly. So it really depends on the neighborhood and the type on what actually is happening because you can go into, um, even in College Grove, we offered in College Grove this week uh, $1.1 million on a $1.2 million house. And we ended up working it out. It was one, it was 10% below where the list price was. And they they came back and countered. We ended up coming to an agreement. And so even in Williams County, where it's been so strong, just depends on the neighborhood. By the way, look at this neighborhood. Lad Park. So that was in College Grove. It's getting kind of soft in College Grove. Look at this. Lad Park has been just going up, up, up. It looks like to me like it may start dropping a little bit, even in Lad Park, um, when you look at list prices. But you can see this trend. It's pretty clear that, that prices have kind of recovered from where they dropped in 22 and 23. Pretty interesting. But you guys tell me what you think. You tell me where you're seeing neighborhoods that are going up or dropping, you know, the quality, it, it, even, even in a nice neighborhood where prices are going up. If your floors are scratched, your house needs painting, even if you're in an attractive area, there's just enough supply out there that people can move on to the next thing. And I think that is a lot of what we're seeing with the price discovery, which by the way, I mean, I know prices are dropping in a lot of neighborhoods, in a lot of areas, um, even areas where prices are going up, people are getting better value for what they're buying. In other words, I had a buyer, um, he was looking for 450. 450 was his price range. He ended up buying a $700,000 house, uh, but it was a $700,000 house that had dropped 30% in value, would have been a million dollars two years ago. So, it, it, you know, would that push up the median? Yes. Did home values drop massively? Yes. There's a lot of that nuance going on in this market. I'm seeing, you know, some people pay top prices. I'm seeing some people see market crashes. So if you're seeing those things, I believe you. I believe you. Hyperlocal is the word I would use, even within price bands, even within types. You know, if you have an opinion on this or even anecdotes that you're seeing around you are incredibly helpful, share it with us. I hope you all have a great weekend. I look forward to seeing you next Saturday. Thanks a lot.